time for. Let's get it. Worth killing for. Let's get it. Get, get worth get, it. Get, get, get. Get. Chemistry. Chemistry. Chemistry, 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 chemistry. I got more rules than chemistry. It's a counting number. One more equals 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd is a very large amount. How large is it? One well, mole of hockey pucks would equal the mass of the moon. A mole is a unit that buries in the ground or it's a spot on your chin that you gotta shave around. But there's another kind of mole that interests me. That's the kind of mole that we use in chemistry. Say you have one mole of pennies distribute around the world. Get to each one five billion grown ups and boys and girls. There wouldn't be a single person down or out of luck. Cause everybody would get a trillion bucks. Suppose a mole of marshmallows fell upon a planet over each square inch and land and sea would be covered. Then you could stand it. That lid would be 12 miles high. And of course, we block our signs so and no plants will survive. Get it. Get, 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 get. Chemistry. Chemistry. Chemistry, 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 chemistry. The first group on the PEI table is the alkaline metals with a plus one charge. This the alkaline F metal with a plus two charge. Groups 3 through 12 are transition metals and have various numbers of various electrons. The Boron family is grouped up team with a plus two charge. Group 14 is a common family with four various electrons and negative four charge. They consist of metal loads and nominals. The nitrogen family is grouped up team with a five valence electrons and a negative three charge. Group 16, the oxygen family has six valence electrons and negative two charge. And the third burst of bonding element in the universe. That's oxygen. The halogens group 70 have 7 valence, the electrons making them the most active non metals and have a negative one charge. You making all the noble gases, they all have a full octet and completely filled out of the energy level and are very unreactive. Get, get, rah! Chemistry. Chemistry, 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 chemistry. I got bonds in chemistry. First one's called ionic. To be with ions, isn't that just ironic? Cations, anions, polyatomics make a strong bond like a bomb that's atomic. It just takes two atoms within each other's sight with incomplete octets to hold these bonds in tight. Covalent bonding is pretty easy to explain. They share electrons and it's just so insane. It's astounding atoms bonding with a bit of a mind flip will take you on a bond trip. Nothing ever be the same space after bonding Like you're under sedation or you're just suffering from starvation 